So did you hear about that actor that broke his leg on stage? Don't worry, he's still in the cast. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, good in the hood. <sighs> keep just, just keep dropping stuff. It's about time we got around to reviewing this shoe, the Jordan 4 RM Resto Mod remastered potato potato but yeah it's about time we had a look at these because these might just surprise you it is in today's episode the jordan 4 rm So I've spoken a lot on this channel about my love for the Jordan 4, not because it is the sort of most popular Jordan at the moment. It was actually my first Jordan as a teenager. So I'm always gonna have that sort of attachment to the shoe, regardless of the hype and all of that sort of stuff. So when the RMs were sort of leaked first, yes, the collaboration with Nigel Sylvester, that got a lot of people talking. And Nike are kind of doing what New Balance have been doing for the past like three or four years or so now, getting a sick collab to introduce the shoe and then bringing out the GR colorways. But yeah, we did have the collaboration first in green, which for me was an absolute banger. Now though, the GR colorways are here. I think out of the whole bunch, a Again, that green pair is just doing something for me. Maybe because it is the poor man Sylvester's, but yeah, still looks good. And before we move on, yes, that gray pair is still sort of circling around. It does look good. And I think it might edge the green pair, but we might have to just see. But I will leave some purchase links down below for all the GR colorways. So yeah, check it out. Now, if you are worrying about the sizing with the RMs, for me, I went true to size and I didn't really have an issue. Although I have seen some people mention they need to go half a size up and I do get it because of how padded the shoe is. Now, I want to say though, just take my recommendation with a pinch of salt, just because I am more narrow footed. But for me anyways, broskies, I went true to size and yeah, that was fine. Now in terms of the box, no, it's not the bikey air that we did get with the collaboration, but still, this one is actually pretty nice. It's pretty much a Jordan 4 box with the cement splatter, but I do like the green hits and even the cream. Now the product sticker does say though, Air Jordan 4 RM and the official colorway is black, light bone and dark gray. Now the whole point to this sort of remaster to the Jordan 4 or resto mods that a lot of people are calling it. Even though technically it's still gonna be a lifestyle sneaker, it does sort of cater to the biker community. Yes, Nigel Sylvester being a pro BMX rider, it basically says it all. Now I was a bit skeptical at first because the low cut to this Jordan 4, it reminds me of a sort of mid cut, but once you get them on foot, we don't really look like that. But going around this colorway though, there's a few panels I do really like, but there's some that are a bit questionable. Now these do also come with a spare set of gray laces, but I'm not too sure it goes with the colorway. Now there is a note that kind of warns you about the suede contaminating in terms of color. Now straight away, you can notice that suede panel that covers most of this shoe. It's a bit silly if you ask me, especially in this colorway and giving us that sort of note to warn us about color contamination or whatever that is. Like I said earlier, this is defo more of a lifestyle shoe than an actual biker or skater shoe but the side panels though this is the part i do actually like it makes it a lot more robust that black soft plastic and yes there's still technically the wings but they don't really look like wings i mean there's no eyelets it's just a sort of bracket but yeah we do have that textile mesh near the lace holes and then we've got that lever in black towards the toe box now it's nice and what i did notice if you get this part creased it's not really a big deal it's defo more of a soft lever than anything now the lace Laces are pretty nice. They're very chunky. They have that sort of SB dunk vibe going on. But yeah, they're so annoying to tie up. Just because if you tie them up to where you kind of want to, where the wings are, they're too short. And if you tie them down one notch, then they're too long. So yeah, getting a nice pair of cream laces in here is definitely the best option. Now, I like this padded tongue though. It's very comfortable. And the Jordan Flight logo is there on that cream suede panel. But one of the best things about this shoe is the ankle collar. Look how padded and cushioned it is 
so comfortable. But yeah, coming in black here in that soft cotton material, just like the insole. Now, if you look very carefully, this is a cool touch. If you flip that sort of mini pull tab down at the back, you have this sort of diagram of a bike going over a ramp. Now, it's not like you're gonna ever see that, but I mean, yeah, it's still cool. Now, we've got that Nike Air branding towards the back and just next to it, we've got that Jumpman logo which yeah, it's a bit overkill, but I'm still here for. And just below that sort of ripstop plastic cage, if you will, it is that leather material that we did get on the toe box. Now it is pretty much a standard Jordan 4 midsole here. Doesn't look like they've changed anything, but yeah, it's in that sort of light bone slash cream colorway. Now it's the same for the outsole as well. They haven't changed a thing. It's in that sort of cream and black colorway though. Right, I think it's about time we decide together whether these are a buy or a buy. Now, I know for a fact, a lot of OG Jordan heads are turning their noses up at this shoe. Although I know the collaboration is where the most love is going to go, really. Now, we've all seen the prices of your standard Jordan 4. It's like 200 plus pounds at this point. So for 135 pounds for the RM, I genuinely think for the pricing, Nike have done well. But if I am honest, all the colorways that I've seen are sitting. So if you wanna wait it out and get these on sale, yeah, I think that's sort of the best thing to do. But in terms of the actual shoe itself, very comfortable. The padding kind of says it all in terms of that. And we all know what your average Jordan 4 is like on foot. The pinky toes. The pinky toes are demolished. But honestly, the past few days that I've had this shoe, I've not felt anything like that. Cushioning, the comfort. The only thing I can sort of have a gripe with is the laces. I like the look of them in terms of the chunky feel and all that sort of thing. But I mean, in terms of practicality, tying them up, it just makes no sense. It's just a nitpick, really. I mean, the shoe itself is pretty great. And for the price, like I said, the comfort and myself being a Jordan 4 fan, yeah, it's kind of a no brainer. Hopefully though, they do give us more colorways to choose from because the colorways out now, they're all right. They're just nothing that stands out to me. Hopefully more collaborations too, who knows? Anyways, broskies, a lot to love with this Jordan 4 RM. I am indeed going to give these an absolute buy. But let me know what you think down below. Is this one you're eyeing up? or is this an absolute miss? And I will be reading the best comments in my next video. Now, this is a comment of the day from my last video, which was the Air Max 90 Drift review. And it's from the broski, Shmandrew K. I hope I got that right, bro. But yeah, you do go on to say, he says, beautifully sleek silhouette, better executed chunkiness than the Futura's intended, while still adding structure to the slim Terrascapes. That's a buy. 100% agree with you, bro. The Futura's and the sort of Terrascapes do blend into one to make that sneaker. Thank you for the comment, broski. Do appreciate it. And for everyone else, don't forget to like, comment, share. And yes, until the next episode, take care.